Welcome back to the channel. Have you been hearing that myth that low KV motors make more torque? Well, I'm sick and tired of it, but my tires also got ripped off the rims by a lower KV motor. So let's talk about what happened. So empirically, higher KV motors, until you get to the point of saturation of your batteries or your ESC or your wires or the motor itself, higher KV motors or a motor on higher voltage. They will both make more torque and power. This is just how motors work. And now specifically, I am talking about brushless motors. So brushed motors, you got the brushes in the way. There is a point where the brushes are your choke point. And it's kind of a low KV, somewhere around eh, 2100 equivalent. We would find that that's somewhere between like a 30 and 35 turn on a 540 motor or on a 550 link motor. We're going to say that's probably about 27-ish, 25 turn but in your useful wheel speed you may want a little bit faster so you don't always get the motor that has the most torque and brushless is really no different but i do want to talk about some of the finer details of that and what i found out when i was testing yesterday so i've been testing the system and i've been doing 3 and 4s only on the 2700 kv because i want to beat the electronics as hard as i possibly can and the higher the kv the harder it is and the hotter that it runs on the rest of the electronics and also the motor too so I've gotten used to the way that that motor drives, right? I, I've been putting in hours and hours and hours of testing, trying to kill it. I'm just literally trying to kill the motor and it's been going great. So I figured, hey, let me drop down to an 1800 KV, really popular speed. It's gonna be probably the most popular running on three and four S. Let's see how it does. So I threw it on three S and I think it was because I was used to the way that the 2700 drove with an AM32 system and I immediately peeled the tires right off the rims. I noticed that in a bind, it was producing a lot more torque for what I thought that it would. So there wasn't quite as much stalling going on. There was a lot better RPM, lock it low RPM. And generally it felt like it was producing more torque. Now, would that actually be the case if I threw it onto a motor dyno? No, it really wouldn't be. However, it was still producing a perceivable amount of torque that i would say is hey it, it seems to be driving with more torque so what was actually going on number one i think i geared down more and i just kind of forgot what my old gearing was uh, i believe it was a 15 tooth pinion i'd have to go back and look and i threw a 12 tooth pinion on there because i somehow lost hey shoot what's this the pinion that i lost all right so i went from an 18 tooth pinion to a 12 tooth pinion all right that's number one what happened. I increased my torque by 50% oh, at the tire because I geared down so much. Well, that's good to know. But on the other hand, I was also experiencing a lot less stalling than I would normally feel on that. And we are still limited by our battery's ability to produce amps, by our wire's ability to shuffle those amps through, and also on our ESC. In particular, on whichever phase side MOSFET is switching, for any particular amp draw, it's gonna have a certain amount of voltage drop. And the more voltage drop, the less torque you're gonna be able to make out of the motor because without the voltage, you can't produce the torque, even though torque is made by amps. It's kind of a circular thing here that I'm talking about. So if your voltage doesn't get in, you can't pull as many amps essentially, but your amps make torque, your amps also make heat, and your MOSFETs get really unhappy when they get hot. So with a higher KV system, Let's say, uh, let's, let's make the figures nice and round. Uh, 2000 kV versus 4000 kV. A 4000 kV motor needs twice the phase amps to produce the same amount of torque at your wheel. That also means four times the heat in those phase MOSFETs. So the higher kV actually can get to a point when it overheats the system and it won't produce more torque. And especially in a crawler, if you're in a bind a lot, that's really gonna add up over time. So, Where's the line on overheating your ESC? I mean, you can always upsize an ESC on a brushless system, most brushless systems. I don't know where that line is yet, but I'm gonna find it. But I geared down. That's probably the biggest reason why I ripped the tires off now that I'm seeing that it went from an 18 to a 12, but it was still stalling less. So I feel like more data needs to be made. However, this is really just illustrative of volt up gear down. 
I like the wheel speed of the 1800 on 3S with a 12 tooth pinion in this element Enduro, but I really wanted more wheel speed. And although I could go back to that 18 and probably get pretty similar performance to what I was doing before, I could also go to 4S and I'd get pretty much the same wheel speed out of it, but I would have more torque, I'd have more wheel speed, I'd have better low speed control, better drag brake, just everything all down the line, volt up, gear down or sometimes KV up, gear down at the same time. That 2700 on 3 or 4S with a smaller pinion would have been really nice, but hey, you know, say la vie, we're already on this system now and testing. And so far, flying colors or something like that. They're, they're, the colors they're flying, they're flying off. So there you go, kind of a ramble about what I'm finding out about this system today, but I hope you learned a little bit about it. And if you do have questions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Others wearing high speed feast. Whoa.